Coming this summer, the kings of Red State Rock return to Tour America with a lineup I thought was a meme when I first saw it. Five Finger Death Punch, Marilyn Manson, and Slaughter to Prevail. Witness the power of Five Finger Death Punch, who released two solid albums over 15 years ago, and then decided if it ain't broke, they'll fist you with it again and again and again. With the heaviest metal on earth, if you only listen to broadcast radio, and don't listen to Slipknot or Pantera. Sing along with frontman Ivan Moody, who despite all his past alcoholic nonsense and domestic abuse cases and restraining orders from his own family, he was in most danger of getting canceled by their own fans by saying that whole George Floyd thing was kinda messed up. But hey, he's made strides into being a better man and celebrating six years of sobriety which might be why he's giving a second chance to their first support act, Marilyn Manson. See the first live Manson performances in five years, which are hopefully better than the last ones we got. Bang your head to the classic albums, the surprisingly good Tyler Bates ones, hopefully nothing from these records, and that weird last one he did with Shooter Jennings, for reasons. Swallow your guilt to see the 90s shock rocker, who was a lot more fun when he was only shocking your conservative parents, and not everyone with basic common decency. Because why has he been away for so long again? Oh. Uh. Yeah. Yeesh. Okay, that's not that bad. Relatively. Rounding out the lineup are rising hotshot deathcore band Slaughter to Prevail, a band that got famous doing death growl pop music covers. And being stereotypically Russian as possible, tracksuits, wrestling bears, playing Russian roulette while drinking vodka, AK 47s, and neo fascism. Wait, what? For nearly 10 years, the band wasn't able to tour Europe because frontman Alex Terrible used to run with neo-Nazis and had a black sun tattoo to match. That never stopped them in America, though, because we're all about freedom, baby, including the freedom to be an idiot. Also stereotypically Russian, homophobia, allegedly. But to be fair, people did overreact to that Rules of Being a Real Man video. At least it seemed that way until Alex started going on about gay conspiracies to warp your children. But it's cool though, cause he can do this. A lineup sure to bring the greatest fans possible. Cops. Military fetishists who totally would have enlisted but I'd punch the drill sergeant in the face bro. Domestic abuse apologists. Racist edgelords and otherwise good people beyond being Five Finger Death Punch fans. Because nothing says I'm a reformed domestic abuser like giving another rock star with ongoing abuse cases a second chance at continuing their privileged career. Five Finger Death Punch, Marilyn Manson, Slaughter to Prevail, surprisingly not trapped or falling in reverse, coming this summer.